OK. So remember, guys, we've been practicing factoring, 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 factoring. And now what I did is I included an equal sign. So what, and I also included in the directions, I want you to solve. So I just say now solve by factoring. So remember, we're still going to be doing factoring, but now we want to solve, meaning we want to find the value of x, right? So we've got to isolate the x. We come as a problem here because we can't isolate the x because we have two of them, right? And one's squared and one's linear, so they're not like terms. We can't just combine them. So when solving for x, we came across this very helpful um, rule, which says the zero product property, which is any two numbers multiplied get to be 0. Therefore, a equals 0 or b equals 0. So what that means is if I want to use the zero product property, I've got to have my equation equal to 0. I'll say that one more time because it's very important. To apply the zero product property, you have to have your equation equal to 0. You can't factor this when it's equal to a number. We need it to be equal to 0. So to do that, subtract 21 on both sides. Okay. Now, can we factor this? Right? And this is what we've been practicing over and over and over again, right? Factoring, 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 factoring. So there's a couple different methods we could do this for. Um, you could, like I said, I like to use the, the x, where you take your coefficient of your square of your first term, multiply it by your last term, which would be negative 21, and then take the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 4. Then what you do is you list all the factors of the top and say which two numbers multiply to give you negative 21, but then add to give you negative 4. So which ones add up? Negative 7 and positive 3, right? Negative 7, positive 3. So then we plug them in. Now, do we, so remember, factoring creates a product, right? So now we have a product equal to 0. Isn't that cool, Austin? We have a product equal to 0. When you have a product equal to 0, you can now say x minus 7 equals 0 and x plus 3 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 7, x equals negative 3. Yes? Could you wait a second? Seems like you're all, uh, all in a rush. I'm still